Hi, I'm Brian, um, a freelance interactive designer and developer um, who um, basically tries to put ideas at the centre of um, pieces of work to join development and design in one package um, in interactive projects. Yep, so I would say I've got a couple of um, things that I consider to be the biggest achievements. Firstly, um, is actually going freelance in the first place and making what's, I guess, considered a success out of um, making a freelance career. Um, the fact that I have clients who I've made work for who are actually happy with what I've made um, and that that's my client, it's something that you can really take for granted but feels really special um, because it's something that was so terrifying beforehand to go freelance when you don't have a regular paycheck coming in. Um, it's terrifying, so to make a success out of that is, yeah, really kind of something I hold dear. Secondly is um, just a personal project I made a couple of years ago um, that people seemed to really enjoy, and it was something that was so like deeply mine and uh, in my own little head, um, and for people to enjoy that was just an unbelievable feeling that I guess maybe I'll never have again, hopefully I will, um, but that was for me an un unbelievable thing to happen, yeah. Um, personally, it's difficult for me. I'm a little bit scared, and I have been for a couple of years now, um, how fast things move. I've been scared for a long time that websites as we know and websites that we make uh, in uh, the more awards kind of agencies, the innovative stuff, I'm scared that stuff will fall away, and I have been for a while now. Things where, uh, sorry, websites which provide a service of automation, where like potential clients can just go in and create what they want through choices. You see more and more and more of those come up and the quality is getting higher. Um, that scares me a little bit, that maybe the, um, the innovative one-off sites might disappear, hopefully not. Um, but we're talking more than five years in advance. But it, for other things, um, yeah, things tend to be slowing down a little, a little bit more at the moment. Um, I know that Dan said in the other interview, um, it's something that I agree with, um, that uh, the innovation side, it's gotten to a point where a lot of sites come out that are really, really innovative. Things like WebGL are like quite common now. So that again I find quite scary um, because it's becoming more and more difficult to send stuff out that is considered innovative by everyone out there. Um, you've got to try harder and maybe concentrate a little bit more on core ideas rather than the, uh, the tech involved. Well, that's a very interesting question at an interesting time for me. Um, essentially this year, um, in 2017, I'm trying to kind of change what I do. Um, what I have been doing is making an entire website or doing the development of a website. Um, and what I use at the moment is all just standard HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I get people asking me, what are, what are the things that you're using to make like these effects? It's just CSS. So that's something that's on my mind. It's quite scary. Um, so I do, in the coming months, want to, want to learn maybe WebGL, um, Canvas, um, and that side of things. I've been scared of WebGL for a while because I always considered that you'd need 3D theory, like lighting and how, it, how it's meant to work. But so many people are doing WebGL now that I'm kind of thinking maybe that's not the case. Maybe that's not the case. You don't need that core basic knowledge of how 3D. And maybe it's more about having the eye in the first place. So I want to learn WebGL, but also aside from that, away from technologies, I actually want to um, start making little stupid, silly personal projects again. It, that's not really about a technology, but making little ideas. That's what I want to get back to doing, um, getting really centered on the idea rather than being led by the tech because, like I said in the previous question, I think that the tech is maybe slowing down. It's becoming difficult to make stuff that looks innovative just through the tech. And if you can get to a place where the idea itself is absolutely the central innovative thing, you can do that forever. It'll never get old. So, yeah, doing more little crazy, stupid concepts. I've got a few in my head at the moment. That's what I want to do in the coming months. Um, well, yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> um, a huge difference to the kind of work I get in. I mean, to start with, it was always years and years away, uh, sorry, years and years back, um, maybe five years, te uh, six years ago, it was always a dream to be winning a, a sight of the day. Um, and then to get to a point where it's kind of disappointing if one of your sites, uh, something that you've created doesn't win a sight of the day, to get to that point is. Yeah, but every single time you win one, it's a huge personal thing that yeah, you kind of internally celebrate, have a glass of wine. Um, so you still get that pump 
from, from doing that because it means that you're doing work of a certain standard. But aside from that, from a business perspective, um, for a freelancer especially, the amount of work I get in, I think, through awards um, is unbelievable because of the sheer amount of people who come to the web who come to the site and see the work that you... It's like a really great um, stage to get your work out there. And I guess the clients I get are invariably agencies who come to awards, and then they give me a piece of work which will hopefully win an award, and then another client comes and sees that piece, and it's like a constantly regurgitating pattern um, that works. Yeah, it works well, and I get a lot from that. Cool, perfect. Yeah.